Welcome back sports gamers, this is The Natural going through a huge major title update today the August title update or title update 2 for Madden 19 it, update dropped today, the patch, and it's a one version 1.07 two, over 2 gigabyte patch, so it's a huge one, we're going to go through all of it um, and joining me today, I actually have a guest, Master Gamer who is one of the best competitive players in the world right now in Madden 19 so I'm going to go through the patch notes, he's going to kind of interject things that, you know sticks out to him major points um and i thought it was good that me being more of a franchise guy having a competitive guy so we have the outlook on both sides of the game covered so appreciate it. thanks for joining me yeah no problem all right so let's get started uh, the key highlights of gameplay new hit stick formula less defensive knockouts versus possession catches play action pass blocking upgrade thank god franchise new off ball injury banner shows team and player and the change log uh, general stability improvements there. Uh, so any of those stick out to you right away? Yeah, I mean on gameplay side, hit stick. Um, I guess that's gonna be less of those DBs getting crazy hit stick animations, which makes sense. You were getting like the Dion's of the world just absolutely popping people. <laughs> yeah. So probably gonna see less of that. Um, defensive knocks down versus possession catches. I just, I really hope that's targeted for the one animation and not possession catches as a whole because if you didn't get that one animation you were catching on like everything with possession catches still. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, I'm not sure how I feel about that yet, I hope it's just that one animation though. Okay. And then um, yeah, play action pass blocking, I messed with it a little bit before we get on. It seems better in terms of how long they actually hold the blocks. I don't know how much the targeting changed. Yeah, I actually did play a game and the game, what you guys are looking at now, this is uh, post patch gameplay, it was much better. I did not see a uh, time where, because basically the play action passing, the guys were like run blocking. So that's why people were just coming free or just disengaging immediately and sacking the quarterback. So it was improved. Um, I did sack my opponent when he ran play action, but I blitzed. But just on the regular rush, the play action definitely uh, blocking held up much better. Yeah, and you're still not going to be able to slide an ID in a lot of play action blocking. So it's not going to be your ideal blocking in every situation. That being said, the plays are now runnable as long as you are able to pick up the heat. Yep. All right, so on to the franchise update. Added player name and team to the injury timeout drop down for off-ball injuries. They fixed the issue when withdrawing an offer during the re-sign uh, big decision period. Fixed the UI layout issue when using the members tab to invite friends to franchise. That was a major one uh, people complained about that the, uh, they weren't able to see all their friends on the invite tab. Fix an issue where play call suggestions don't load after exiting Super Sim. Tune framing for snapshots when focused on block field goals and punts. Tune snapshot flow at the end of the game so wipe correctly hides the transition. All right, so let's go on to the Madden Ultimate Team updates. Um, the biggest one for franchise there was the uh, invite there. So on to the Mutt updates, solo battles. Fixed an issue where the game speed was set to slow in so solo battles. That was a huge one. Um, have you played any solo battles at all, Matt? No, I haven't. All right. So, yeah, I played solo battles, and it really sucked because the game felt so slow, so choppy. Um, looking forward to hopping into solo battles and, uh, uh, you know, seeing how testing that one out. Fixed an issue where playbook selecting your lineup wouldn't always be the one you brought to a game. Exactly. That's the big one. The playbooks were going to your default playbooks in the settings. They were not using the playbooks in Mutt, so that's a good fix there. Solo challenges, fix the issue where timeouts would go to zero when restarting a solo battle. Pack reveals, fix the issue where the pack reveals were not triggering for fantasy packs. All right, so on to some visual updates. The uh, fix an issue causing the inner color ring of the player indicator to remain visible after clicking off to another player. Fix an issue causing the green user success ripple under the player into the flex randomly throughout the game. Tuning to better frame the camera during touchdown celebrations. We've seen some yeah. funny ones with that one. <laughs> the camera just looking crazy during touchdown celebrations, right? Yeah, there's, there's been some interesting ones. Now, if we could only get that one uh, end zone celebration, not to trigger like 80% of the team celebrations were set. I know. Terrible. Uh, <laughs> enable statue presentation for Atlanta Falcons during pregame. Tuning of multiple cameras that were behind various stadium geometry during postgame tunnel cutscenes. Updated helmet and chin strap players placement of variety players. This is one that kind of um, I mentioned last time in the uh, update that I did player like this where Tom Brady uh, his scan didn't look correctly It was just because of the helmet and chin strap placement 
Um, so that's going to be fixed. It, it definitely uh, it's noticeable on players. They look a lot more real when the correct chin strap is uh, is fitted properly. That sounds crazy, but I, I've seen the difference um, between Tom Brady definitely. Updated a variety of uniforms. And also, based on feedback gathered from the community about player lock camera, um, that the they have changed it where uh, to create more opportunities to make players in the ball and player lock and franchise player they replaced the player lock cameras with the mutt squads position specific cameras those are the ones that zoom in uh, more closely on your player they said it's it's a better balance and um, you get the ball in the uh, frame and it makes it easier to make plays and reads as the play develops so uh, have some testing to do with that I know some people complain about taking out defensive uh, camera how they had it in last year but they're actually gonna use the mutt squads camera so if you're playing as a running back a wide receiver or a defensive secondary role the camera will zoom in more on you and you can kind of see, see the field a little bit better from your point of view um, and so also a big one we updated a ton of player likeness uh, for the players looks like about 20 players here I'm gonna do a separate video showing you guys all the updated player likenesses so I'll get to that uh, after this one so on to the gameplay updates um, catching they tuned to decrease the frequency of defensive knockout versus catches especially versus possession catches I know you have something to say about that yeah no that, that scares me um, it could be good but it could also be really bad we're gonna to need to see. I mean, my thing is, I thought possession catches were good outside of that one animation. I thought they were probably too good and needed to be toned back. So if it's not specific to that one animation, that that definitely scares me, especially with all the ad caches that have been going on recently. Okay, fix an issue causing defensive knockouts to occur on receivers after they already gone to the ground. Oh my god, I've seen this one so oh, much. Oh, there's, yeah, there's been some crazy catches. Yeah, what well, like, you were possessing catches catch. or not catches? Yeah, exactly. You possess a catch, you're going down to the ground. And you get sucked into an animation where it pulls you up from the ground and then the ball knocked out. Yeah, it's... So, I mean, like, that's good to get fixed. And, like, that's what I was more so hoping to see. Yep. Not as much as, like, oh, yeah, they're just going to hold on possession catches more. Like, if, that, if that's the stuff that's getting fixed, cool. But yep. if it's just a, a frequency thing, that's, that's kind of scary. Yep. Tuning to remove defensive knockouts on sideline catches resulting in incorrect catch rulings. Uh, that's yeah, kind of yeah, kind of what we talked about, especially on the uh, the touchdowns going out of bounds, and uh, yep. it looks like a knockout. It is a knockout, but then they call it a touchdown. To yeah, me, I mean, I was okay with that because of the strip, like uh, the possession catch strip, because it was only on possession catches. So like, it's the one animation that you shouldn't have got, but like they give it to you. Yep. So, for, but for some reason, sideline they count it because you stepped out of bounds before like it actually gets out. Yep. Tuning to decrease the frequency of defenders jumping to swat or catch pass intended for receivers who are behind them. <laughs> okay. Okay. A lot of people complain about that when I'm saying fixing an issue causing defenders to sometimes hurdle over balls in the ground and been fumbled. I've seen a hilarious clip from this one uh, where a somebody fumbled and like the entire defense just jumped over the ball. <laughs> fix the yeah, I think I saw one of fix those. the rare issue causing players to disappear from a catch interaction. Added functionality for users to break receivers and defenders out of catch drop animation so they can get back into the play quicker. So I'm thinking this is the one where they would. Uh, the ball get picked off and they would just kind of like complain about it so I'm trying to see yeah okay I, I assume so but I think it's more than that I think there's I haven't really messed with it too much I mean I haven't had a lot of time to really like test it yeah but I think you're, it's just more control in general which I think is a good thing yep fix an issue causing uh, running backs to run backwards after making a short catch when facing the quarterback so I'm thinking more I of like I think I ever saw that. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe more of a screen passes thing. Have to, have to see yeah, it could be it. Also, some real player motion fixes, which <laughs> yes, to me, um, uh, I've seen a lot of real player motion glitches. So this is a good category. Fix an issue causing quarterbacks to use hot route animations with sending a receiver in motion. Fix an issue causing oh, QB, my favorite. QBs to sometimes use hot route animations when using a fake snap. Um, so that's more tuned to people not liking uh, the overly done. QB pre-play animation, so they're kind of toning that down a little bit, seems like. Yeah, it, it was so frustrating how, like, in practice mode, you could do a lot of different motion snaps, but in game, you couldn't because they are actually, like, doing their audibles. Like, they are doing the thing. So, like, I, I've already been messing with it a little bit. There's a lot more things you can do with it in terms of motion, so that's really cool. Yep. I'm really happy with that one. That's a good one. Fix a rare issue where the play would not be blown dead when the ball carrier used the give-up mechanic and QB slides. I haven't seen that yeah. one. I, I, I've seen a few weird ones like that. Added functionality to break out of play action pass rollouts early after the fake handoff. 
You, this can be used by giving input on the left stick towards any direction or pressing R2 uh, right trigger. I've seen this. Um, it seems like you can come out of play action passes much easier uh, animations. I, you can see this in the gameplay that, that's on the screen now. Fix an issue in halfback ace, halfback slam mountain that caused the QB to hand the ball off with the wrong hand. Uh, issue with halfback to miss the toss when using pistol, weak eye flex power option, and gun open flex halfback toss. I, th I think that was fixed previously, right? Where they would uh, fumble immediately? You, you, yeah, you saw it and then it happened again. <laughs> I guess it got fixed again. Fix an issue causing left handed QBs to sometimes turn around and look behind when inside the pocket. Oh, the, I've seen this one. That was the best. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Vic would stare you down right before you threw a laser. That was great. That was like a no-look pass. Oh, yeah. No, it was awesome. Vic, Vic would stare you down as he threw a missile. It was awesome. Tuning the hit sticks to increase the frequency of broken tackles versus hit stick attempts. Uh, the hit stick outcomes are determined by using defender's hit power versus the ball carrier's break tackle rating. This can be modified by weight and momentum of both players in the interaction. So I guess they just all right on to blocking and this is one that a lot of people are going to be happy about upgrading block target behavior for play action pass blocking that's what we touched on already yeah i mean it, it's from what i tested it's definitely better don't assume it's just going to pick up everything for you but in terms of it was completely unusable before yep. uh from what i tested it is a lot better now all right, I'm, How much I'm, better? It's yet to be determined. Some major one people are going to be happy about. Tuning to slightly decrease early block sheds versus the run game on all oh. Madden difficulty in simulation and competitive game styles. Um, and it's significant. Dev note, because rushing yards per carry is currently below our target range on all Madden, they have slightly decreased the frequency of early block sheds on all Madden by tuning them a little more towards the values used on all pro where rushing yards per carry was within the range. The running is viable again it's a really short version yep um now you got to be in a set that can run in terms of if the entire offense is viable but from what i've tested you can you can run and you won't be wasting it down yep you, you still yeah i had some decent runs in the gameplay there also you still cannot spam the turbo behind the line so still run appropriately you know we've got some info out on that uh make sure you check out master gamer's channel he's got some tips and stuff on that um you still got to know how to run it still takes skill but the early block sheds were as soon as you get the ball and the defense was waiting for you uh that that's no longer an issue yeah which is awesome I, i've been testing it it's it's definitely much better yeah i think it's well balanced right now fixed yeah. issues causing titans remain frozen at the line when he had no defender to block when in a pass blocking assignment oh my god i've seen this so much where the tight end just blocks yeah. no one and just like kind of back pedals back and the defense end comes right on its action tuning to increase the effectiveness of the ultimate team ability secure pass blocker this will now be an additive timer the defender must wait before attempting a shed move it will be added to the base wait time um which is determined by defender's pass rush rating currently being used power mover for nest move that's for more for uh mutt all right, and they got some uh, post-play and pre-play fixes here. Post-play fix some cases of players remaining frozen on the ground when trying to get up after the play is over. Fix some issues causing the um, ball to get stuck to players' forearms at the get to the ground. I've seen that a ton, the ball getting stuck in hand. Um, and all this stuff is really just, when they say post-play, pre-play, that's not when you're in the game, just kind of like the little cutscenes in between when you're picking your play, uh, just seeing wonky stuff. So this fixes a lot of that. Uh, all right, let's go to the, the post play. Fix an issue causing wide receiver icons to flip when using an audible to a new formation or from a run to a pass in the same formation. Uh, uh, I have not seen that. So. Fix various cases of defenders lining up on top of each other. Uh, pre snap. I've seen some weird stuff already pre snap, so I don't know if that's that, but hopefully, the um, if that is what I think it is, I hope that's fixed because I was having a lot of issues with that where my dudes. Line up at like like right over the center even though they were free safety yeah tuning to make defender movement at the break in the huddle smoother that's a good one i've heard some complaints about that and also the offensive of line breaking the huddle looking a little weird or not as smooth as it should be fix the issue causing off of the defensive alignment to align incorrectly when using no huddle tuning to speed up that. defenders when covering receiver in motion and pre-play fix the issue causing a broken play when using audible from fake punt pass to Punt, yeah, I haven't seen that one. <laughs> Sounds tough, though. I don't know. So, uh, brand new commentary updates 
added new comment content from the commentary team of uh, Brandon God and Charles Davis. Fix the issue where a commentator is referencing kicking off from San Diego when they're actually in Carson. I've seen some other glitches with the commentary this year, man. I, I, I think they really should have cleaned that up a little bit better. I've seen like some old stuff in there where they're referencing wrong things or things from last year. Um, yeah, I think they need they definitely need to work on the commentary a little bit more. I have no idea. I think I have it turned off. So. <laughs> All right. And the last category here, we have the PC updates. Uh, I do have the PC version, so I do welcome. Uh, I like that they actually have a separate category that they're still working on uh, Madden PC version as well. Fix an issue that would cause some resolution to display the uniform preview model in the wrong location. Fix an issue would sometimes cause audio to cut off during gameplay. Um, another one sometimes prevented the pause menu from being open when both uh, peripherals were being connected. Uh, another one caused keyboard and mouse inputs to display even when the primary input was a controller. Yeah, I've seen people complain about that. Fix an issue yeah, where sometimes the keyboard icon on the display team would select the controller. Fix the issue on my head to head that sometimes caused users to get kicked back to the main menu after selecting quick, quick match. Uh, issue in franchise that caused positions to be hidden until a user throws scrolls through the entire list. An issue with sometimes disabled mouse click functionality at exit uh, exiting exhibition mode. I've seen that myself on that one. An issue where caused mouse clicks not to function in the pause menu. Uh, another mouse click one, some grid based menus. Mixed fix issue prevented the hyphen and the posture keys from functioning when editing a player's name. Fixed issue that prevented the Mutt card reveal secrets from playing when using the mouse. And one that would sometimes cause Mutt solo challenge goals from displaying properly. Did not see one that I was looking for about audio. The ability to mute the other player when playing on the PC. That's a huge miss. Please, you need to add this. Uh, like you can't do that on PC right now? No, no, no. Just If someone has uh, the has it plugged in, you have to hear them the whole time. Oh, that's that's yeah. You should sit, check a tweet I made the other day. Uh, the guy was just like, I got up early. I'm up like 21, 20, zero. He just starts. He he requests a friendly quit. I said no, and he just blew into the mic for like the next five minutes nonstop. Jesus. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's that's not ideal. All right, so that, that's pretty, pretty that much fixed. it. Um, like I said, I have a separate video coming that's gonna show all the updated player likenesses. Um, and this one, and um, anything else you have to add that you wanna? about this Matt. yeah i mean th there's still a few different things that i would like to see fixed again aggressive catches for one users not animating all the time is another um i'd like to see playbooks updated in some way it's it's just one of those things that like I'm, i feel i still feel like in some aspects i'm playing the same game as last year because of that so i don't know if that's realistic or not but it's, it's something that i definitely am hoping for um, all right outside yeah. of that there's there's definitely things that still need to be fixed but there's not much not to like here outside of that one. Yeah, this I, I, I think me. this is even a better update than the last one. Um, and uh, so l l let me know um, uh, in the comments below what you guys think. Uh, if you said some things, the glaring things, the issues that's still happening, still happening. Um, let me know in the comments below. Of course, we take that feedback when you do give that to the developers, so the next update can be an even better one. Um, so make sure. Hope you guys like the video and make sure you check out Master Gamer. Check out his YouTube. Follow him on Twitter. Um, he has great tips. Um, he's a really smart guy and really great at the game. So I appreciate having you on there. Yeah, no problem. All right, make sure you guys drop a like if you like the video. And if you love to subscribe, turn those notifications on so you don't miss a thing with sportscameresonline.com. This is The Natural. I'm out. You stinting and telling them nicks. You got for $100 on your head. They run up on them. My they run up on them. I get some brother with dogs and tools. I put a dozen on them on your head. Oh. They pull up a ladder. They pull up with bread. Go suicide and then I ain't joking like boom. Watch our ladder. I be pulling and get. I should be counting up.